What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of 2k18. I figured it was about time we add our game day gear. We're gonna have our sleeve, we're gonna get our shoes, we're gonna be looking a lot better on the court. Promo squared away? Uh, Ch Charlie. Yeah, yep, yeah, I got him right here. You know, I want new hashtags. I am not feeling those. Anything else? Oh, uh, rookie. DJ! <laughs> a word. What up, girl? Excited for the game? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. Uh, so, I have a semi-weird question for you. How many cell phones do you have? How many do I need, or that's a personal question? <laughs> how many do I need? Well, it kind of depends. Shammy, how many burners you got? What you talking about? Shammy's Hannah? got three phones. Three, you know about. Hey, after all these celebs been getting hacked, I'm kind of shook. Me. Now I like to compartmentalize. Got the business phone, agent, team, coach. Miss Shapiro. Very first. kind. And I got my back for you. Okay, so DJ, you're on social media a lot, which is great, but now you don't just represent yourself, you represent the team. Uh, you should consider getting a second phone for your agent, manager, official team, social media. Get that back for Yeah. Alright, guys, I'll think about it, but I got a game to focus on, okay? Is this a real thing that these players Please deal with? Bro, two phone bills? What do you act like you can't afford it? What you think I'm Shaq? <laughs> What? I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the low, whatever it is. I, I didn't know this is a thing that NBA players went through. Gotta have multiple phones, one for personal and one for, for business and stuff. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? You got a lot of sensitive info and you're representing something pretty huge there. You're representing more than just the team, or more than just yourself, you're representing the team. So I don't know, kind of interesting. A little bit late on these releases here. That one was way early. I just can't get a feel for it. I don't know. Maybe we need to, uh, like I said, maybe we, maybe we should go hit the practice court. Maybe we should think about possibly switching up our release. I don't, I don't mind Steph Curry's release. We got another humble intro. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this so I don't get hit with uh, ad Welcome to this presentation strikes and stuff. Sunday night action right here on 2K Sports. All right, so we're gonna be playing the Hornets today, who are two and three. We're one and four. Battle of the losers. Let's see what we can do. Well, guys, DJ has had to make his own path to the NBA. He went undrafted, but he was able to get a contract after some tryouts and training camp. And he didn't commit to pursuing basketball until later in his development. Kevin. David, thank you so much. Not the traditional. We're up to averaging 6.6 .6 points a game. That's pretty good. And in these early stages, see what we can do. You guys can see we're rocking the throwback jerseys tonight. No reason. I just thought it'd be kind of cool. And how good they can be, or how bad they might be. Vogel, record 235 and 201. At least he's winning, I guess. Not by a lot, but at least he's winning. Here we go. Conferences. You have some really good teams and bad teams in that mix. So, Whoa, we're down by 10. Okay. Kaminsky comes in for Williams. Let's see what we can do here. Gilchrist in for Jeremy Lamb. We're gonna have our work cut out for us. Terrence Ross is out there with Maurice Spates. Then there's Wells. Then it's DJ. And it's Biamba at the center, filling up the middle. Here's Heller. Woo, boys, not good fouls. Not good fouls. All right. This guy's going to be up by 13 if he makes this. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. He missed it. On the free throw, no good. And when you watch Cody Zeller on the floor, Yes, sir. All right. Nice little fast break off the rebound from the missed free throw. We'll take it. On both ends. He doesn't put up those huge numbers, but the change for his team start. is that he is so versatile and easy to plug in. He wasn't really paying attention. I wanted to try to steal that. Misses from nice. close range. No one to blame on that one but himself. When you get looks like that. Yes, sir. Woo! Oh, we're feeling it, boys. Of course, getting his nickname from his work uh, behind the turntables. Although, Greg, he's rededicated himself to basketball as he still does have a huge interest in creating his own music. Yeah, and as much as DJ loves DJ, he's going to have to find a balance between it and, and making it. Yes, sir. NBA. Hard enough to be successful. Kick it out. One passion, much less two. Coach Carter. Oh, my gosh, baby. Let's freaking go. Woo! We're on fire. We got eight points. Maybe to 
in three possessions. Let's keep this up. Come on now. Kid Gilchrist against Ross. And the pass to DJ. Come on now. Somebody give me a pick. Spade sets a screen for Martin. Oh my gosh, baby! Let's go, boys! And he's clearly led the way offensively. Holy cow. We just came in and took over this game right now. Orlando shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Oh, baby! And we made the free throw, which I'm really not that great at yet. That was a lot of shaking going on from the uh, the home crowd. We're now within one. We just took over this game, baby. Out of bounds? All right, let's keep it up. Bro, we're really making a case for ourselves. We're trying to. So it's Orlando now. I mean, I'm trying not to be a ball hog, but if we're that hot, we got to keep shooting, right? Spates sets a screen. Oh, I tried to drive it's a there. Three. And a shot by Wells, no Dang. good. I was trying to drive. We got Kicks to Monk. caught up a little bit, though. And a shot, no good. Got it up. Bro, how are you not going to hit me right there? I'm knocking that down 10 times out of 10. We're feeling good. We just got 11 points in the first quarter the first quarter bro all right they're gonna keep us in we're not hot anymore hustling on that offensive glass that's that's okay number of second chance points well obviously let's go ahead and run a play smart play right off the rip okay i don't know what smart play is so we're gonna go for the pick and roll they checked out his foot and it appears he may have sprained his toe on that play that sucks that is a bitter pill for them to swallow so early in the season it clearly changes the look of this team going forward, Kevin. Stubbed his toe, it changes the look of the team, bro. He'll be back tomorrow. Chill. Do you guys hear the announcers right now? <laughs> They're talking about a stubbed toe being like a broken leg or something. David gives us updates on all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Gotta be able to knock that down, bro. I would have taken the shot myself if I knew you were going to miss it. Zeller in at the center position. Playing some good defense here. That shot missing. Simmons with the defensive effort. Martin for three. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what? We're 100% from the floor right now with 14 points. Kid Gilchrist against Simmons. Kid Gilchrist, no luck. Orlando's gone three of seven tonight from three point territory. Probably not the best shot. If we would have hit that, I would have lost my mind. I just, I had to take it. It was definitely not the best shot. We lost our heat meter. The defense constantly breaking down. But that's all right. Too many times. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. That would have been absolutely like mental if we would have hit that, bro. Orlando's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Yes, sir. Got the assist. We're a team player, baby. From Wells, definitely a threat to sink those perimeter shots. Holy cow! Hornets trail by five. They need a good offensive. Hornets got to take a timeout because they went from up by 13 to down by five. What a swing! So Charlotte calls timeout. What a ooh. Okay. There are so many players that can make yeah. you just scratch your head okay. and contemplate how did they make that. Throw that T-shirt over here, girl. With that in mind, which player? <laughs> just amazing the All right, With we're gonna be taking out. It's going to be a tie game, 32-32 at the half. Coach has to take roll of what's going on here. He's got to see what's happening. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, it looked like the ball really was moving there in the first half. Yeah, the game is simple when you make the extra pass, when you play the right way. Um, we start out playing this way. we got to continue with it. All right, the game is simple when you give me the ball, baby. That's what he should have said. All right. My halftime stats. BT make grade, 15 points. Or 14 points, one rebound, one assist. Three for four from three. 
And now the start of the second half. Neither side jump. I can't believe before that stupid freaking shot that we took, we were 100 percent from the floor. All right, 40 to 43 here. Comes in for Three minutes left in the third. And Michael Kidd Gilchrist subbed in for Lamb. Orlando also making some changes. Run some plays. Ross comes in for Maurice Spence. Ross Iso point. And DJ subbed in for Isaac. And so in the game for the Magic, Peyton is out there with Martin. <laughs> then it's Evan. <laughs> yes, it's sir. Terrence Ross. And it's Vucevic in at the five. Well, DJ is capable of seeking these outside shots. D can't let him get into a comfort zone from beyond arc. And Batum kicks to Kaminsky over Ross. Woo! All right, that was a good foul. We'll take it. Well, Kaminsky, one of the rare four-year players taken in the lottery. I mean, he's had some struggles finding his offense in NBA consistently. We got taken out just after that. We're going to lose this game, dude. This is where I draw the line. The, that, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. Martin from outside. It's so freaking frustrating, bro. So frustrating. And you just hate I don't even know what to say about points. this, dude. Uh, it can be discouraging, frustrating, but you only have yourselves to blame. Box out. Nice. Force turnover. And so it's the Hornets I'll take it. Had some good D there at the end, but I, I just, I, I don't even know what to say, dude. I, I want to go slap the coach. I really do. What a freaking game out of us. And coach is going to do that to us. Unbelievable. Than their opponent. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber. Oh my god. This gosh. is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. That's painful. So long. It's truly, truly painful. There he is right there. He's walking behind. Me. I should just turn around and just slap him. I realize it's a part of the story. You can't become a starter too quickly, but 17 points off the bench like that. Give me some PT, bro. I need some PT. Yo, I kind of feel like Bill Murray in that one movie. What's it called again? Caddyshack? Uh, nah, nah, that's not it. <laughs> Rushmore. Nah, that's not it, Coach. Ghostbusters. Y'all not letting me explain, man. It's that movie where he lives the same day over and over again. And it kind of feels like this road trip, like every day is the same. I just like can't. Like Ghostbusters. Oh, Will Groundhog's you? Day. Yes. Well, why didn't you just say that? Man, I was trying to think you of it. You talking about Rushmore and Ghostbusters? Who is Bill Murray? The dude from Space Jam. <laughs> this was a good movie, by the way. No, that was Billy Crystal. No, that's uh, Deuce Big. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we got a phone call here. I always set my controller down, then the buzzing goes crazy. All right, had a meeting in UA this morning, and while they aren't ready to deal, I've got some positive news for you. What's the news? So Under Armour isn't ready to deal yet. Positive news is they've offered up some free sneakers. That's okay. That's not bad. Which ones I get? Get to pick one of the three I just sent over an image of. All right. Free shoe from their Team Bank shoe lineup. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go with these. All right, nice choice. I'll have them sit over the locker room at the arena. So now we can put those on if we want. How you doing? I'm good, coach. Listen, just want to say, let you know the coach side is really happy the way you've been playing lately. I mean, that's a good sign. We did play out of our freaking mind that last game. You'll be getting a few extra minutes in the rotation starting next game. Woo! All right. That's a good sign, boys. It's looking up. Uh-oh, we still have a, another text. Got another local offer. You interested? Who do we got? All you have to do is make an appearance at the NBA store. Will do. Nice. All right. That's good news. I don't think we could ask for much more. What do you guys say we just head down there right now? It's just down here at the end of the street. We got to make a little appearance. Honestly, I wish we were wearing a nicer shirt. Have we worn this shirt enough? I feel like we've probably worn this shirt enough. So, I may, uh... I don't know, maybe we could go buy something new after we make this appearance. Might make a little bit of coin and use that to uh, to get some new threads. We'll see what happens. Hey, what up, DJ? What's up, man? How you doing? What's good, man? It's nice to meet Yo, you. Yo, DJ, What's can up, I get a pick? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do a picture, no problem. Yeah, yeah, all good. All good. 
dude's cool. tall as a mofo. Like oh yeah, yeah, I got your voice. Man. Name's Xander. Name's Xander. Yeah, yeah. I got you. So cool. Hey, what's up? It's your boy DJ. Xander can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message after the tone. Peace. So, That's a dope oh, idea. Oh, yeah, I got you, man. No problem. No problem. Awesome. Thanks, right, I DJ. I appreciate the support, guys. All right. Later, DJ. I see. You. That's actually a really cool idea, dude. Are you kidding me? To have somebody do your voicemail for you? Bro, like, yeah, that's my homie DJ. We we kick it sometimes. We're good enough friends that he does my voicemails for me. All right, let's head over to Swags. I'm going to say y'all want to try to pick up a new tea or something. We might have some new stuff available since we've leveled up so much. We're up at 85. I think that every, like, five levels is kind of a new... Welcome to Swags. Cool. A new Thanks. thing where you have new stuff you can unlock. So we'll we'll check out what we got going on here. And then um We don't have glasses yet. We do have hats. We've got ball caps. I'm not really into hats though, to be honest. Jewelry still locked. Hoodies and outerwear. Should we wear like a hoodie or a, a military jacket? Not really feeling that. A varsity jacket might not be bad. I feel like we don't really want a jacket though. It's gonna be a little bit too hot for that. I don't want to think too hard about this though, you know what I mean? I feel like sometimes we think too hard. Let's see what a silver pocketed tee looks like. Add a hey, little bit of bling to our Sure. The fitting room's right there. Our lineup here. But yeah, we're going to add in a new shirt and then I say we go get a haircut. I say we cut back a little bit of the beard, cut back a little bit on the crazy tall hair and um, just kind of give ourselves a slightly new fit. All right, that doesn't look bad. I like how once you try something on once, you can try on a bunch of things really quickly. Oh, that's kind of dope. Go with the silver, go with this. I feel like this is pretty much the same look we were rocking with before. Do we want to try something a little bit different? We could go with like blue, st ah, that doesn't really work. Baseball tee. What do we have for long? We see we don't really have a lot of options here, to be honest. Premium clothes. Text. Could go with buckets. I mean, we get buckets, right? I'm gonna go with the buckets tee. That looks good enough for me. All right, let's go ahead and check out. Cool. So we got that. I'm gonna go throw Thanks. that on. Great. And we're gonna go Thanks change up the in. haircut. How much we owe you? Charlie and the stack kid and whoever you are. What the hell? What are you guys doing in my house? Hey, Mr. Pizza Man, how much we owe you for the pizza? Why are you hey, asking yo, me about that's pizza, That's repetition, bro? man. That's repetition. Oh, yo, man. you're looking at my new improv team, Fresh Lettuce. <laughs> B, since when do you do improv? Yo, it keeps the intelligence sharp and makes you quick on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Twinkle toes, pop, pop, hey, hey, pop, 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 stop pop, 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 I saw your agent Brian on the phone the other day. His comebacks was so quick. You know what I'm saying? I had to do this. It's like live action problem solving. That's why I love it. And it's good for networking, too. To meet people. Look, B, I'm really happy for you. I just have one small question. Why y'all got to do improv at my place? Yo, what else is we going to do it, man? Come on now. The last place we practiced in was a broom closet in a church basement. This is way better. We playing questions only. All your responses got to be in the form of a question. You down to play? I'll play. Whatever. This so is weird, like but that. I'll take it. Yo, I thought you hated that game. Did I ever tell you I was on Jeopardy once? Do you want to keep playing? Yeah. What makes you think I hate it? Yo, did you win? Do you really want to hear this story? What are you doing? Why is he talking like that? Why didn't you tell me you were having people over? Remember when I had texted you that I formed an improv group? Don't most reputable improv groups practice in a theater? <laughs> oh, roasted. Ain't this place so much nicer than a theater? Wow. So this is your basketball court? Stats guy. Do you think I should change the locks? Is you show you haven't played this before? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> ah, fresh lettuce. Bro, what the heck is going on in our house right now? I got the weak knees. Stanky leg all day. I just came over here. 
to change my shirt and get back to the barbershop. And y'all are wildin' out in here. Throwing freaking parties and stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and put this new shirt on. See what it's all about. I think it's gonna look good. I say we do this shirt on for a few episodes and then we're gonna change up our look a few episodes from now as well. So we're gonna put that bucket shirt on. Looks good to me. I mean, we could go with like a Lakers jersey or something would look good to be honest. But uh, we'll, we'll rock this here. Buckets. We get buckets, baby. All right, I like it. Cool. So now, actually, we, we had a new text on our phone, I think. Yeah, from Brian. Nicely done. You seen positive stuff. Your social media about all the selfies you took. Cool. It's all part of the job. It's actually not all part of the job, man. That's my favorite part of it. Obviously, I'm not in the level of a famous athlete, but from YouTube and stuff, just even just being able to talk to people on Twitter is so cool. It makes everything so worth it. All right, anyway. Let's head down and let's go get a, uh, a little trimmer. Oh man, you got that little Wayne playing. Of course, I know what you like and it's about you. Hey, don't let Mrs. Concepcion hear you playing that. She doesn't like that kind of music. I've got music for her too. Ooh, man, Mrs. C gets down like that? Dude, I gotta make this my intro to the game, baby. I feel it. Mm, mm. <laughs> Bro, he is seriously, Mr. Spinelli is like my favorite person from this entire Let's Play so far. He's the highlight of my day every time we go by him. Alright, we're gonna head on down to see Doc, see what he's up to. I feel like he's always up to something, he's always got something to say. We're gonna get that fresh fade. What's going on, guys? Talk hey, how boy. you doing? What's up, fellas? Hey, Have a seat, man. Okay. Tough loss last night, man. Who you telling, Doc? <laughs> yeah, man. Better luck next time. I know you guys are better than that. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, the locker room is not looking good right now. Let me tell you that much. Coach is mad. Boy, he's mad. Well, look, relax, man, and take your time. And when you need me, I'll be right behind you. All right. Doc, you ever lose something? Man, yeah. Heart stuff. Socks. Socks? In the dryer. They always <laughs> missing for some reason. I hear that. <laughs> what about you? I lost my father. Oh man. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, he went to the went to the store and never came back. Damn. Well, I got, some, got something to tell you. What? I'm in contact with your father. Oh. You got an email? He's on LinkedIn. Oh <laughs> word. He needs a job. I got a chair open. Yeah, but it's complicated. He only likes the top 10 barbers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what are we gonna roll with here? Honestly, all right, so let's, facial hair color, we're gonna have to, to make this brown. I don't mind the long facial hair, I really don't. I feel like we probably could trim it up just a little bit though, make it a little bit less insane. Lion's mane and the pencil, overgrown beard. I mean, I just, I don't want anything trimmed, maybe a trimmed beard. Let's go with a trimmed beard. We're gonna match it to our hair color too. Which is good. Then for our hair, we definitely need to take this a step down. I'm gonna say, this is what we had before with the parted medium. I think we could go with the spiked one, or we could go with the undercut. I think I'm gonna go with the undercut. So let's see how this looks. Let's go ahead and check that out. 1300 for a... I think this one will look great. A cut's pretty serious. No one of these guys are so nice to us every time we step in here, but let's see how this looks. Man, you are a oh, handsome dude, man. Look at Fans that. Are gonna love this one, man. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Showroom floor. Showroom floor. Lady Jules, Lady Doc. Uh, I like the undercut. I almost feel like we should keep the beard, though. The beard takes away from that really weird shape that we have in our face. What do you guys think? Should we? Hold on. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to go back in. We're going to try the long beard in the light brown color. Have a seat. You want the usual today? That's kind of cool. They don't have a whole new cutscene for us. All right, so we're gonna keep the uh, the facial hair color here, and then we're gonna go for the facial hair. We're gonna go for that big long beard. Where was it? Full beard. It was this one, Old Glory. All right. Go ahead and check that out. Looks good to me. 
I think Expensive this haircut, great. but we might have Ready the key it? here. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. Man, you are a oh, handsome duck. man. Look at Fans that. Fans are gonna love this Woo! one, man. You read my mind. Mm -hmm. Showroom floor. I like it. Showroom floor. I like it. Later, Doc. Go I get him. Jay. Go get I him. think that's the look, boys. I think we're gonna keep that long James Harden looking beard. It still seems a little bit dark though, you know what I mean? It doesn't really match the rest of my facial hair, but usually you have darker facial hair than your actual hair up top. I think that looks pretty good. And just because we look so awful from our facial scan, I feel like it kind of hides that a little bit. I, I think I could get used to this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. That was a fun, interesting episode. Our best game yet. We're just going to have to top it in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.